Let's go granite with the kill. Honestly, that was pretty a pretty easy Cyrus. But you know, it's a Cyrus, so you're always prepared. Well, those were some encounters that we got there. Um, blueberries, great to have. And so is the Magnemite. Wingle is okay. It is a Wingle. So, all right. Who's ready for a rival battle? I'm ready. Can't even see him. Let's go. Let's go! Come on, Barry. Okay. So Straptor has Intimidate. We lead with Steel. Um, we tank the Intimidate, mostly because we're a special attacker, so I think we always just... Ooh, let's Thunder Wave first. Ooh, please hit through. Hit through this. Nice. Now we outspeed. So now, remember, one of the nice things that, about keeping lock on, specifically for the Staraptor, is because we can always, like if we miss this first one, I'll probably just lock on and then discharge. Even if we hit, I don't even know if this kills. Okay, it does. What a boss. <laughs> yeah, worst came to worst, we could always lock on and then discharge so that we'd always hit through evasion drops. So, there you go. Just now. 524. Yep. Okay. Okay. So now we got Rapidash. This thing is probably going to want to want to use Fire Spin on us, um, which will trap us until it can switch out. I think the best switch in for this is Indigo, because um, does Fire Fire is not good against. Is fire good against ground? Fire is fine against ground, but even if we switch in, um, our, we're we're still extremely defensive, and then we can just big kill it probably. Um, or we do cerulean or smoky. I don't think we switch into smoky just in case he uses takedown or stomp, which would be wild. And then that's why I don't really want to switch into cerulean because his defenses are not nearly as good as indigo. And Indigo has more HP, has more attack, has more speed. So I think we just Indigo shift. Let's see Fire Spin. That's fine. That is definitely a good reason to have switched. And now we just dig, which we outspeed. Nice. It doesn't even use its fire move because its fire move does so little damage. <laughs> Adios. The best part is we got a fast U-Turner. So we get Floatzel. Aqua Jet, Pursuit, Quick Attack, and Swift. There's no way Pursuit crit kills from here. So it's probably going to be Aqua Jet. So we always just U-Turn into Badu. Oh, it did use Pursuit. Okay. Nice call. That did 10 damage. <laughs> okay. That's good damage. So I think we just... Yeah, Budu. I think we just probably Mega Drain. Ooh, we could always Stun Spore. Let's try. Oh. Let's see. Come on. Let's, let's hit the Stun Spore. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nice. Okay. Perfect. Um, okay, so now this thing does have Aerial Ace. So it's either Brick Break, Night Slash, Horn Attack, or Aerial Ace. Um, real quick. Electric, Rock, and Steel. Okay. I wish I had Protect <laughs> at this very moment to see what it was going to use. Uh, where's Barry? Um, but yeah, Night Slash. Because if it's Brick Break, I can't switch into Steel. 
If it's Brick Break, I can't switch into Smoky, which would tank pretty much everything else. So I think it's actually a switch into Indigo. And then Aerial Ace probably kills. Um, at the very least, I can U-turn into Royal Green, and that's still fine. So I think that's just all we do, is we just switch into Indigo. Because none of these moves are super effective against me. Oh, does this thing have guts? No, it has Swarm. Um, Aerial Ace. I think this just kills. 4x weak. There you go. Take that hair across. Okay, we got Floatzel again, probably. There you go. And so what do we do? Just a U-turn. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I didn't think, I didn't think. <sighs> so stupid, so stupid, so stupid, so stupid. So stupid. <laughs> Okay, almost lots lost my guy there. Um, I don't think I have any priority on any of these guys. Yeah, he doesn't have quick attack, right? No. Um, yeah, just Rose. Just Rose. I mean, honestly, I could probably just do Royal Green, and it's not gonna matter because he's Strapter's dead. Rapid it. Yeah, let's just do Royal Green. Almost lost my Gligar for no reason. Tor, Terra, Razor Leaf, Mega Drain, Bite, and Leech Seed. Just wing attack. <laughs> this should probably two hit kill. If not, one hit kill. Oh my god, Scyther. Royal Green, that was a non-crit. Granted, Sky Plate boosted wing attack. I forgot I, I forgot about Technician too, so it's Technician boosted, Sky Plate boosted, super effective. What a what an unreal Pokemon. Royal Green MVP, baby. Does Iron Island even get us, like, I don't even know if that gets us an encounter at this point. I guess I can get a Riolu egg, can I? In the Iron Islands, I could Super Rod fish for a Quillfish if this was a later gen. In Gen 4, it doesn't evolve yet, but as of, is it even this dex? Yeah, so as of Sword and Shield, um, as of Sword and Shield, it evolves. Um, because of Hisuian Quillfish. Or actually, does that even count? Because this one's the only one that evolves. Actually, yeah, I guess it doesn't even count because it is Hisuian Quillfish that evolves, so never mind. The point that I was going to illustrate is that Quillfish could be a valid encounter later, but it's not a valid encounter later, so never mind. Uh, let's see. We already have, already have, already have gba insertion you can get mawile or sableye okay can't get any of those though nope is he nopes nope did he nopes yep i do get a gift riolu so gift riolu is the thing here um pretty much which is riolu even worth getting is the question hello I think so. Steadfast, speed raises one level every time I flinch. Inner focus does not flinch. I'd probably rather have inner focus. Good attack, solid speed, but kind of weak everywhere else. So yeah, I don't know. Real is probably worth it. It gets some good moves. Um, or actually, it does not get some good moves. Holy cow. It does get endure plus reversal though, so that's a thing. Okay. We'll probably get that later. We'll see. Um, that'll be a, probably a while off. So we got the gym at the very least for now, so. Okay, I think we're ready to take on gym stuff. <sighs> or start doing the gym. Let's see, gotta check on. Actually, dude. I 
think I actually have to dip. So I got family plans today. But we will be able to start next Wednesday with the gym. So we only got to bury today. But we'll be able to do Cantilive Gym next week. One eternity later. Hello. 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 I'm slumming it today. <laughs> Hope you are having a good Friday. I am recovering. <laughs> probably pause this so I can hear myself think whoo boy has it been a couple of weeks let me tell you what uh so let's see where were we it's been a hot minute feels like since I streamed last but it's realistically only been like two weeks um let's see what happened fourth of July happened I went to a July 4th parade with my son he likes fire trucks and he saw some fire trucks and he loved them a lot so that was fun um, and then he immediately got sick afterwards. I was home with him. Monday and Tuesday, shout out to my mom who was able to help watch him in the afternoon so I could work. And then, wouldn't you know it, that little sucker seems to have given me something. And actually, this is a good reminder, it's 3 o'clock so I get to take more acetaminophen. But yeah, what do you say we just like... I guess try and remember where we were. It'll be a fun episode, hopefully, um, because I have genuinely no idea how much my brain fog will affect my ability to play this game right now. But here we are. Wow. I feel like I prepped for the people that I would use at, during the gym. <laughs> but now I don't remember. But I think we're ready. I think we've gotten our guys IV trained. Uh, e sorry, EV trained. I think we're ready to go. I think we're just going to go do the gym, huh? How's everybody's Friday? Oh, I forgot to actually take my medicine. Bottoms up. Hello, Ricky. Okay, so this is the Ricky with a 38 Steelix. It's a little spookier. Surf! That a boy Cerulean! You love to see it. I was genuinely, I haven't run any calcs. Uh, we're f sort of free balling it today. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so here we are. Number two. <laughs> oh, this guy just has the one Magnemite. Spark, Magnet Bomb, Magnet Bomb, and Screech. Well. This almost definitely will not get anywhere. The Killer Earthquake. Absolutely love to see it. Mm-mm-mm. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that a girl, Brown Nose. So far, we're two for two on Oko's. Granted, that second one is significantly less surprising than the first one, so... Okay, here we go. Smokey versus the Ace Trainer Scizor. <sighs> Let's go, Caesar. Caesar's the name of the trainer. Caesar with a Caesar. <sighs> okay. God, what a cool Pokemon. Okay. Gotta love Scizor. Um, Fire Fang. Nice outspeed. Let's go. That's not gonna do nearly as much as I thought it would. Spooky, come on. Live, 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 live! Crit! No, we just we just auto-died to that. Huh. Well, I guess I'm glad I didn't bring the Rapidash. That would have sucked. <laughs> Woo! We're 
we're slowly coming back here. Uh, what is good against Scizor? Ground. I mean, ground should almost certainly kill it, right? It's only fire that is super effective against it. And of course, I don't have anyone else that's good against it, but my Gligar should handle this pretty good. Indigo. Let's go. So we're gonna dig. Let's go. Nice. We have lost a companion. Not the best start to the day. I did not think that would just one hit kill, but good lord, apparently Hondars are frail. Are they frailer than Rapid Ashes? Probably not. Let's find out. We'll go look at our we'll go look at our stuff as we deposit this hero. Smokey. I probably should have checked the calcs. Um <laughs> Let's see. 27 defense is pretty bad. 27 defense is pretty bad at level 39. What is this guy's defense? It's so much higher! <laughs> Hold on. Should have just brought Ponyta. That was completely unnecessary. Um, well, I guess I'm moving her into the box. <laughs> we could also get Cresselia. Isn't that- is- Cresselia is on an island too, right? I actually have totally forgotten how to get Cresselia in this game. Boy, also, do I miss the days of, like, events? Event, like, items? Man, Platinum was, like, the peak for that, where you'd get, like, the- the- you'd get, like, the Darkrai pass, or you'd get, like, the Cresselia pass, and then you'd have, like, a little bit of extra story. It was, like, the original DLC, you know? That stuff was fire. I miss those. I miss those days. Now we just get like, hey, you can catch a Terra Pokemon, a Terra Charizard, or a Terra Blastoise for a week. It's like, okay, well, I like more lore, and now I pay for DLC, which is fine. <laughs> but like, man, it was nice. It was nice. How's your Friday going, Clarence? How's it going? I like some foreplay with this Pokemon. I mean, I definitely don't mind. Doesn't hurt, you know? Man, Brown Nose is just an absolute champ. Got him. Woo. Gets wrecked. Sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh. Or Mr. Jackson. Ooh. Want insert already existing Pokemon here. Then buy our expansion, only $14.99. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a little weird sometimes. Like, I feel like I go a couple ways on it. Like, honestly, devs need to be paid for, like, the additional work that they put into things. So, like, I don't, like, hate that that's a thing. It just, like, feels bad that they, like, effectively paywall Pokemon behind... You know, behind, uh... Paywall Pokemon behind some sort of paywall, whether it's Pokemon Home or... Like, a DLC. Just silly. Seems a little silly. Like, it would make sense that they just update the game, so it's like, everyone's Pokedex gets an up... Pokedex gets an upgrade, but you might not be able to encounter or find the Pokemon without getting the DLC, you know what I mean? So like you can still import them from Pokemon Home, but like you can't. I don't, I don't know if that's how it works. Honestly, I haven't played Scarlet in a hot minute, but. 
Uh, yeah, it just feels like there's probably a better way that they could have done it. Did I just outspeed, by the way? Did I beat? Did I quick claw? Did I miss that? Did I outspeed this Magnemite somehow? <laughs> Gerardo. I'm just outspeeding Magnemites? This thing is so slow. How is that even possible? This thing has 32 speed. How am I outspeeding Magnemite? Uh, I guess I've just got good EVs or something. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't even think that was possible. I don't know how I just outsped both of those Magnemites. Let's go. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. Surf. Remember, I'm choice specs, so I have to. Once I lock into surf, I am locked into surf. Granted, I did Oko a level 38 Steelix before. Nice crit. Didn't even matter, probably. <coughs> oh, my head throbs when I cough. Um. So, uh, I think we're probably just wrecking this thing. Uh, let's go. My bye, bye Let's go, let's go. Got him. Oh, double crit, Cerulean. Yeah, that's one fast hippo. He's a hungry, hungry hippo for some uh, itty bitty Magnemites. Let's go, Cerulean. I love you, boy. That's my Cerulean. No evolving. <laughs> so I think what we got to do is we lead with our Roha, but if we have to switch into like something like Gligar, then we'll just have to kind of figure that out. Machop might be able to. Um, I do think I need to figure out... Um... I'm going to probably run some calcs quick just to like make sure that Machop can do okay. Um, but I want to uh, see if I can get some setup in for Machop a little bit just to like protect it from coming in so it doesn't have to take a hit from like some of the moves because I mean Byron has some like good moves. So like, and we can, we'll look at his team after this, I think, just to make sure. But um, I think the scary thing is that Bastiodon has Metal Burst. And no matter what move I use, it's like a universal counter slash mirror coat. And so I just really need to make sure that I kill it. And because Bastiodon and Steelix are both super physically defensive, it does get a little scary. Um, when I'm using a physical attacker. And honestly, Bastiodon is even really specially defensive as well. So, like, Steelix will go down to, like, a Surf. But Bastiodon, I don't think will. Let's review the Byron squad, all right? We got Indigo, who has an amulet coin. He's got Dig, Aerial Ace, U-Turn, and Swords Dance, which will be really nice for switching out. Um, the U-turn, I mean. Uh, we got our Choice Specs Ariolan with Surf, Zen Headbutt, Screech, and Disable. We got our Wise Glasses Cerulean with Surf, Brine, Drill Peck, and Growl. We got our Cadet with uh, No Guard, Cross Chop, or Revenge with a Fist Plate. Might be able to Oko the Bastiodon still, by the way. Brown Nose with Earthquake and Crunch. Yawn, ooh, Yawn could be helpful. Um, that'd be cool. Uh, and has a citrus berry. And then we got our sackable, frail little birdie eggshell with water pulse, wing attack, quick attack, and roost. I need to remember, don't let me forget that he has um what's his face? Has uh What do you call it? 
Byron has a full restore and a hyper potion, so I think we are ready to take on the gym. <laughs> <laughs>